Question 18. Shape P is reflected in the line x equals negative 1 to give shape Q. Shape Q is reflected in the line y equals 0 to give the shape R. Describe fully the single transformation that maps P onto shape R. So we've got a two-step process and then they're describing a transformation. So for our first transformation, we have a reflection on the line of x equals negative 1. What I would do is actually draw onto the graph what x equals minus 1 looks like, and that is a vertical line that goes through x equals negative 1. So we have to reflect across this line, so the shape is going to be two squares away and facing in the opposite direction. Each point is flipped onto the other side. creating an identical shape facing the opposite direction which is an equal distance from our mirror line and that we were told is shape Q. The next step was to reflect this new shape on the line of y equals 0 which is basically our x-axis all the points along there y equals 0. So if we reflect Q turns upside down and is one square under the line instead of one square over the line. You could use tracing paper at this stage just to make sure, or a mirror to work out where the reflections would go. And this shape we're told is called shape R. Now to earn our final marks for this it says to describe fully the single transformation that maps P onto R. So one single transformation. So it's not two reflections. So one thing we should notice is this is turned round 180 degrees. So what we have here is a rotation. Now because it's completely 180 degrees we can just write 180 degrees. It doesn't matter about the direction. If it was only 90 degrees we'd have to say clockwise or anti-clockwise. And the only other thing we need is our center of rotation. And that is this point here between our two lines of reflection. So the coordinates for this point give us a center at negative 1, 0.